Hi, my name is Tom Casey, and I wanted to do a quick short video today on your limousine company. Basically, the purpose of this video is just to compare you with some of your competitors in terms of where you show up in search results. And what I wanted to do today is just look at two factors, because I want to keep this video short. But before I jump into that, I want to show you how many people are searching for limo service in Tucson, okay? Now, this is a tool from Google. It goes out and does a count of monthly searches. So what we're looking at here is actually the last 12 months from January 2015 back is the number of people that are searching per month for limo service in, in Tucson, okay? Now these numbers are rounded up to the nearest 10 or 100. So there's 110, 480, 590, 320, 260. There's a lot of people searching 260, 170, 210, 260 for January of this year. So I thought this would be a good exercise. So I went over to Google. Did a search for limo service, Tucson. This is page one right here. Okay, let's see where I find you. You are over here, Catalina, Tucson. This is your website right here. Let's see what page you're on. You're on page three, okay? So again, I mentioned I just want to cover two factors today. These are two factors search engines consider when they're doing rankings. They obviously consider more than two factors. But to keep the video uh, to a good length, we're just going to look at these two factors. And I'm going to compare you with somebody on this page. And I want to see if there's any differences. And I want to see if there's anything that can be done about those differences if they exist. And see if there's anything that can be done to actually help improve where you show up in search results. Okay? So we're going to use Alice and Limo for comparison purposes. And the first factor I am going to discuss today is something called citations. A citation is a listing for your business in a directory site. It's a name, address, phone number listing, okay? As an example, this is a website that goes out and finds directory sites. Here's a directory site called Super Pages. If Catalina Transportation had a listing on Super Pages, name, address, phone number listing, that would be considered one citation, okay? Now, search engines like citations. The more, the better they feel. It makes you more legitimate as a business, and therefore they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you do. All right? Now up here, you actually can do a citation count for a business. And I put you in here, and it's telling me you have 80 citations. That's not bad. Allison, who we're comparing ourselves, has, has 90. So that's a little bit more. But the one thing I want to mention about citations, they have to be exactly the same everywhere where they're discounted. In other words, your name of the business has to be the same, address has to be the same, phone number has to be the same. If they're not the same, the ones that are are different, it's just down it, and so the number is not as high. Now I checked you out because I thought that's a pretty good number. I thought you'd be doing better than you are. Some of your citations are not exactly the same, so this number is probably closer to 65. So what we can do in that case, because these directory sites are not so easy to, to um, change, but you can quickly and easily get added to them. So we could add, go out and add like 20 good citations. So this number would be more like 85. And as long as they were all exactly the same, and that would have a nice positive impact in terms of where you show up in search results. You definitely would move up, okay? That's the very first factor. The second and last factor I want to talk about is something called backlinks. Now backlinks are important. A backlink is a link from one website to your website. As an example, if there was a website called TucsonLimoSupplies.com and they had a link on their site from CatalinaTucson.com and that link obviously goes to your website, that's considered one backlink. Now search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations. Again, for similar reasons, they feel it makes you more legitimate as a business and want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks than you. Okay. Now this website actually does a backlink count for your website. The number we want to look at is unique active backlinks. It's telling me you have one unique active backlink. All right, let's go look at Allison Limo. So they have 17, so that's a bit of a difference there. <laughs> but the good news again is we can add backlinks to your site. And we don't need to add 17. We can probably get away with adding 10. I'm going to tell you why. This link influence score for Allison is really bad. This should be closer to 20 or 30 percent. They're ranking because of this number. But this link influence score is an indicator of how strong the backlinks are that are coming into your site. And it's based on how strong the website is that's linking to you. So the better and stronger the website is, the higher that score is going to be. So in your case, 
obviously you have a pretty bad score too, but if we added 10 good quality backlinks from good sites and got this number up to 20 or 30%, that would be huge for you. You would definitely jump in search rankings, a uh, big jump. More people would find you, more people would call you, more business, okay? So today we only talked about citations and backlinks, but you can see there is a difference between you and someone on the front page just looking at these factors. You're also learning though that we can take steps to eliminate the differences and mitigate them. And when we do that with just these two factors alone, the impact to you is going to be very nice, a nice positive impact in terms of jump and search results where you show up when people are searching for limo service in Tucson, okay? So this is what I do for a living, but I don't charge for consulting. So if you want more information about what I talked about today, it's free. If you want more information about other factors I discuss with my other customers regarding search results, that's free. If you want me to review your website, that's free. There's no cost, no obligation. So I hope you found this a little helpful. Um, go ahead and give me a call if you'd like to talk further or shoot me an email. That's it for the video. Have a great one. Bye now.